Hi, this is Mark, and I just wanted to give you a quick look at our uh, our Bailey's uh, Home Quilter uh, Model Pro 17E. Um, and the Pro 17E is uh, just a 17-inch machine with uh, uh, what they call enhanced lighting, and uh, um, it's it's a nice setup because you've got these uh, LED lights. I'm going to flip them out of the way there, though, because it kind of interferes with the camera reflecting off the the lollipop there. Um, a couple of things I wanted to point out on on our machine, um, and I won't call them uh, modifications because uh, I don't think I've changed the uh, the machine any at all. I'll, I'll just call them uh, uh, enhancements. <laughs> the uh, uh, probably the first thing you can see is the, the handles on the front of the machine are definitely not the original. Uh, that's some aluminum tubing uh, that I had and. Uh, I just built those handles myself, um, and uh, you can see that I have uh, a rubber bumper um, under the front handle here, and that's uh, that's just to take. Uh, uh, we were getting a little vibration because the the length of the handle here, uh, back to this handle bracket, we were getting some vibration in the handles itself, and uh, that just takes the vibration out of the out of the handle. Seems to work real well. And as you can see, we use the uh, original PVC handles on the back of the machine. Um, one thing I did want to point out was that uh, rather than using the uh, the brackets that uh, come with the uh, from Bailey's uh, with the machine to bolt the handles on, I uh, I opted to uh, bolt directly to uh, the the handle bracket here, uh, and I did that both with the front handles and with the uh, with the rear original PVC handles, um, just to uh, it gives a lot more stability to the handles uh, when you bolt them directly to that uh, to that bracket. Uh, it would be nice to have a little heavier steel in that bracket, and I think it would really firm things up. But uh, um, as it stands now, if you bolt them directly to the bracket, it, it makes a nice uh, firm uh, handle. Um, on both the PVC and the and the aluminum tubing that I have on the front. Uh, the other thing you'll notice too, I don't know if you can see it, you should be able to here, uh, inside of that PVC tubing handle on the back I did use some uh, um, metal electrical conduit and I ran it right up inside and, and just drilled directly through the the PVC and the conduit at the same time and uh, that also adds a lot of uh, uh, stability to the uh, to the handles uh, when you put that uh, metal conduit. And you sleeve it, sleeve the conduit with the PVC, and it, it really makes a firm uh, handle. And I did add these. Uh, uh, also added the the rubber hand grips, um, and they just uh, make it comfortable. Uh, comfortable. Uh, grip for your hands and it, it does take a lot of vibration out of the machine as well and as you can see I've uh, I've added a, a switch mount here uh, for uh, so you can thumb thumb activate your uh, on off switch there on the front um, let's see the only other uh, the only other things on this side of the machine at all are uh, um, I'll zoom in here and uh, show the uh, Rather than using the um, rather than using the O-rings, I've I've opted for a piece of thin-walled uh, rubber tubing, and we added that quite a while ago, and and have not had any issues with that at all uh, since we added that. I know I've read a lot where people aren't using it at all, but um, it doesn't seem to cause any issues either way. Uh, but the the rubber tubing is definitely fewer issues than than what we were having when we were using the O-rings. Um, I think that's about it on that side of the machine. Uh, on this side of the machine, I just would point out that uh, uh, on the back, I don't know, you should be able to see the uh, all the cable ties that we've added back there, um, just to keep keep the. Uh, all your cables out of the uh, from getting tangled up in anything while you're running the machine. Uh, that was that was quite a chore. It took a little bit uh, uh, when we first started operating the machine, 
you know, occasionally you would you would feel a little hang up, and you would have one of the one of the sensor cables uh, for the sew control uh, would catch on the frame somewhere or something. But um, I just uh, I I can't overemphasize enough using a whole bunch of cable ties because once you get everything out of the way, and it's it's able to uh, you just want to make sure everything is is able to run the full range of motion of your uh, of your frame. Um, but once you have that down, it seems to be uh, uh, no issues at all with cables getting tangled up in, in anything. Uh, and the only other thing on this side of the machine, uh, you can see I've added a little, uh, uh, just a plastic box here with, uh, um, you can put your tools in there, and uh, scissors, and just keeps things in a handy, handy place. Um, we do have on and off switches on both sides of the machine, and, and I think like everyone else, we're, we're basically just operating by, uh, if you're running the front of the machine, you have the, the front switch plugged in, and if you're uh, running from the back of the machine, you plug in the back switch. I probably could wire that up to where uh, we could leave both switches and run them simultaneously, but uh, I just there's no need for it that I can see. Um, the only other thing I did want to point out was I've I've seen a few comments about uh, uh, needle needle up and down switch um, that everyone wishes the Baileys uh, had a uh, needle up and down switch. Um, if you're running a sew control, it's uh, uh, you basically have one uh, in that uh, the slow the slow this is a rocker switch here, and if you uh, knock it down to the slow side. Uh, you're basically running a, ne a needle up and down switch. Yeah, it, if you hold it down, it'll continue to run, but I'll just, now there I just did a needle, uh, you know, you're, you're talking about pulling your bobbin thread up through. I just dropped the needle through, let off the button, it stops at the high end of the stroke, and uh, you, you've got your bobbin thread through your quilt. Um, you can also go halfway, there's down, there's up. Um, so it, it works real well for that, and uh, uh, I, I do that uh, rather than rather than trying to uh, control that function from your thumb switch, which is is certainly possible. Just for me, it seems like uh, this this makes it a whole lot easier. Uh, I can drop it in and raise it, um, and I think. Uh, that's about it for the uh, uh, enhancements on our machine. Um, appreciate you watching.